The Nancy Foster is a former 187-foot Navy ship once used to test torpedoes, but it's now used to test something less explosive. Now owned by NOAA, the research ship set sail on Wednesday on a two-week mission to gather data just south of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. Fifteen scientists with the agency known for predicting weather storms will now concentrate on predicting how the water currents will flow in the future and potentially carrying oil into our coasts. Rather than just look at the surface circulation, which a lot of the satellites and the remote sensing can do, we've got a variety of instruments that we can actually lower down all the way to the bottom and take samples. Last week, the agency determined that the risk of the oil reaching the Florida Keys and South Florida anytime soon was remote. They downgraded the region to low risk. However, those predictions were made mostly through examining surface area conditions. From a third floor computer lab aboard the ship, scientists will be able to monitor water temperatures, salinity, and currents. The ship will also be using trawling nets to scoop up marine life for a closer look. That will give us an idea if the oil is going to um, possibly contaminate the areas in, in Florida, the East Coast, um, or, or throughout the Caribbean. The Nancy Foster is scheduled to arrive in North Florida in two weeks with its findings and future predictions. In Miami Beach, I'm Yosvani Rodriguez for The Morning Show.